Hey everybody, it's Boone White with the 323 Concept Furniture Restoration. You are watching the 323 vlog. And today I wanted to do a video on how to replace the drive tube on your manual recliner. Um, so if you're not familiar, the drive tube is basically, um, typically they're a square tube that runs through the center of your mechanism. And sometimes it'll connect to a lever type style recliner as you'll see on this unit. Um, but a lot of the times you don't even see it. It doesn't connect to anything that you see um, because a lot of the styles these days have a pull handle on the side of your recliner and um, that requires a cable that runs to the arm and to the mechanism. But the square drive tube is basically what controls the, the motion of your recliner. Um, one way or the other, if you pull the lever, uh, which is sort of the manual function of, of rotating that square drive tube to to operate your, your recliner mechanism, um, either that way or through the pull cable. The pull cable ends up activating a, I call it a, a mechanism lever activator. And I get a lot of questions on that, how to, how to find those pieces. And I search that on eBay and that's how I find it. <laughs> but basically that's a little silver or black lever activator that goes on the side. And when you pull your cable, uh, it activates this piece and pushes your mechanism to open but regardless you have this center uh, you have this square tube that runs through the center of your mechanism and it basically rotates when you pull that cable or when you pull the lever and that's what opens your your mechanism so without further ado let's jump into this video let's see how you go about um, replacing one of these drive tubes and hopefully this helps you out if you're doing this process all right, so basically I always like to start by flipping over the recliner on a protected furniture blanket and to remove the mechanisms there's typically typically three, four, five screws uh, holding the mechanism into the wooden seat frame of your recliner. So once you loosen those up you also have usually you know four four bolts or so holding your uh, the scissor spring into the footrest of the recliner. So once you free all that up, that should free your mechanism to be able to remove the mechanism completely if that's the route you want to go. Um, you don't always have to remove your mechanism to replace the drive tube, but I have a couple springs to replace, so I'm going to go ahead and remove mine. Uh, also, I think it just makes a little bit easier work. But as you'll see here in a second, learn from my mistake and uh, take pictures of how everything's attached because the slightest misattachment later in the video will come back to haunt you. Okay, so in our first step, you saw I was releasing the mechanism, and I'm taking that out anyways just because I need to replace a couple springs. You may be able to get away without doing that um, if your drive tube can just slide out the, the side hole in the where the lever's at. So you may not have to go through that step, but honestly, it's just a few extra minutes, So um, and I had to do it anyway. So <laughs> that's why I was doing that. But basically, we got our drive tube. So basically, we got our drive tube freed up, and this is what it looks like. There's typically about two different sizes, um, and they're typically square all the way through. This is an old lane uh, mechanism, and these is sort of a combination between square and then circular. So um, I'm just going to replace this with a uh, three-quarter inch square tubing. Uh, that's what it called for. Um, they do make they do make one that's a little bit smaller as well, and I believe those are five-eighth inch. Um, but um, if you do so uh, that's what this size is bad news is lane I just found out went out of uh, business a couple weeks ago and is no longer going to be selling these parts uh, so you may be out of luck if you're trying to find a lane one so that's why I started with trying to go through reclinerhandles.com and they are the ones that inform me of that long story short they don't have this uh, this size anymore so what am I gonna do I'm gonna make my own drive tube and replace it so I went to the store and I picked up some three-quarter inch steel square tubing. I found this, I believe, at Lowe's. Uh, but anyways, this should work just fine. Like I said, the smaller version, I believe, is 5 eighths. Okay, so two things. You want to make sure that your inside and outside diameter are the same as the original. In this case, we needed a, this is a 5 8 inch tube that's supposed to slide into the three quarter inch tube. So you would want a five eight inch inner diameter and a three quarter inch outer diameter. And if I'm not mistaken, this should slide in just fine. I haven't even tied it, tried it yet, but yeah, this is, this is gonna slide in just fine. 
So from here, we basically uh, set the old tube on the new tube and we wanna mark where all the bolt holes went and we're gonna drill those out with our drill press. Alrighty, so here we are transferring the marks from the old tube to the new one. Once we get those on there, we bring it over to the drill press and drill it out. Uh, nothing, nothing too hard or difficult there. Once we get that done, we're gonna cut it to length using a grinder. And if you got a metal chop saw, that obviously works a lot easier. Um, but just file it down, get it nice and smooth, and here we are ready to install it. I did miss a little bit of footage here, but basically slide it in there and start at reconnecting your mechanism to the drive tube on all these different uh, points. I believe there were four different points on this one. Uh, once, as you see here, I am struggling a little bit. It took me about 15 to 20 minutes to realize what I had done wrong. But like I said, learn from my mistake, take pictures and document how you took it apart and that'll make it go a lot smoother. Uh, I finally did figure out uh, that I had the brackets attached wrong to the drive tube. I fixed those and as you see at the end, we got it all figured out and it's opening as intended. I uh, really appreciate y'all tuning in and watching today. If you got any questions, comment below and we'll be happy to get back in touch with you. And we hope to see y'all uh, in our future videos. Thanks, y'all.